Preston Physics, Grade 11, Forces Note 7, Newton's Second Law and Free Body Diagrams. Now when combining Newton's Second Law, which was our equation force net equals ma and free body diagrams we have to be very careful to draw our diagrams correctly now in the first example we have a force being applied of 455 newtons in one direction and friction opposing it at 402 newtons in the other direction we want to find our acceleration we've labeled a positive and negative and we know our mass is 35 kilograms so we have our force net is equal to mass times acceleration now our net force is our force applied minus our force of friction. So we put in our two forces and we still have it equal to 35A or our mass times acceleration. Then we just divide the 35 over and solve for A. In this case, which is 1.51 meters per second squared. To finish this question off, we would add a closing statement of the acceleration is 1.51 meters per second squared. I want you to notice that all of our given and required is actually in this question. We have our appropriate formula, our substitution, and we've solved. We haven't stated it like we normally do, but it's all there. For the next example, we're shooting a hockey puck. The first thing I want you to do is change the coefficient of friction to 0 0.06. We're taking out one of the zeros. When we make our free body diagram here, we're looking at the force of gravity, the normal force, and the force of friction. Because we've already shot the puck, the puck's sliding along the ice, we now have no more applied force. There's no force pushing it along anymore. There's just a force of friction acting that's slowing it down. The other thing that's happening is our force normal and force of gravity are actually going to cancel each other out. So we have our positive to the right, our negative to the left, we're looking for our acceleration. We have mu, as I said, to be 0.06. Now we sub into our formula of F net equals MA. We know there's only a negative force because it's friction. So we have negative force of friction equals mass times acceleration. The force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. Force normal is equal to FG in this case, or MG. So we have mu mg equals ma. Now I've just cancelled out the masses and because they're on both sides I can divide both sides by mass so it really doesn't matter the mass of the puck in this case. We find our acceleration by doing mu times gravity and it's just negative because it's slowing down. So our acceleration is 0 0.06 times 9.8 which ends up being 0 0.588 meters per second squared. Part B is a kinematics question. Given our initial velocity of 45 meters per second, we know we're coming to a stop, which is 0 meters per second, and we know our acceleration at negative 0.588 meters per second. What's our distance? So we use V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2AD. We substitute all our values in after we've rearranged to D equals V2 squared minus V1 squared over 2A. We get 0 squared minus 45 squared all over 2 times our acceleration. This equals negative 2025 over negative 1.176, which is 1,721.94 meters or 1.7 kilometers. Again, we would have to provide a therefore statement at the end of this question, but we've included each part of the question in both A and B, given and required, formula, substitution, and solution. Now you can try the curling question by yourself at home, but we're going to look at it in class tomorrow all together. This is a classic type of question and some things need to be addressed when we're looking at it. The questions for this section are 22 to 29 from your yellow duotangs.